Monash South Africa is an international campus where students get to experience many new things. A part of this experience involves a clash of values. Hunting is a divided issue, and as animal tourism continues to grow in SA, students are now confronted by controversial issues like canned hunting when choosing their next animal encounters. But um, yeah, just a documentary about canned hunting and the various um, conservation parks for lions that breed baby cubs to be handled by humans and then killed later on, basically. It was pretty horrifying. It was really, I was, mm, I was really disgusted by it. Because I, hunting in general, like, I'm not really a fan of, but, like, um, putting on a facade of conservation um, and kind of conning people into, into these kinds of experiences without them knowing what the ultimate end is for that animal, I think that that's pretty, um, it's very deceptive. I think that it's quite de deceptive when you think that you're, like, helping helping something out, but in the end you're kind of ruining something else. So I think that yeah, the information should be readily available for, um, for tourists and that they should be wanting to find out that information as well, seeking it. Canned hunting is an issue within South Africa. We hear the Lion Park in Gauteng speaking to Sinead, the park manager, about this issue. So we do everything from game drives to taking people in with the cubs that are behind us over here to doing cheetah walks to doing just general maintenance and cleaning of enclosures. So a little bit of everything, basically. The whole process of canned hunting is literally where you're hand raising cubs, you release them into like an area that's about the size of the park that we have out there, mm -hmm. um, where they mingle with other animals, so it's kind of the wild. So it's a full grown lion that you've released over there and then a hunter comes along and because this animal has got no fear of people, there's no real challenge to the hunt and they just pick up the rifle and they shoot this animal that's looking at them with trust in its eyes saying, oh, you know, hello friend, and yeah. then bah. We are a member of PayZap, which is an ethical organization. So we can only sell to PayZap or to whom they recommend. So that ensures that they don't go for canned hunting, that they always go to good homes from here. And if we see that some of our predators, like the lions, are breeding too much, we will contracept. You know, and I think the canned hunting is, is a term which has been probably tied very closely to lion hunting. Um, a lot of hunting all over the world is, is what they would call put and take, um, where animals are bred. Lion hunting is a, is a very emotive issue. Um, as an association, we're against it. Now, if you as a hunter could shoot a lion in the wild, there is no guarantee that you are not shooting a pride lion. And um, you, because the lions are on their own. Um, the lionesses are usually on their own unless they're, they're in season and the, the lion will come through to the pride. And you run the risk of, if you shoot, say, one of a coalition of two or even the pride lion, you know, um, that pride now becomes exposed to another lion. And the first thing he does immediately is kill all the cubs. So for the price of shooting a one, one wild lion, you can easily end up killing 12 or 13 lions. So in that sense, it's probably less damaging um, to the lion population when a lion gets shot in a canned hunt. Um, ethically, I don't agree with it. Um, but if you look at the, at, at the, the end justifying the means, it is good for the wild lion population. There's two sides to this story. I can say to you right now that I, I'm against it, but at the same time I can also say that I'm for it. Because if they don't breed these animals, then people are going to go out and they're going to poach them. So, you know, either way it's a vicious cycle and it all comes down to the same thing. Like I said before, it's all cash. You're always going to find unscrupulous operators, operators though, um, and uh, that is a fact. It's difficult because the, the, the average person that grows up in the cities um, becomes very detached with or from where foodstuffs come from. It's well, my family hunts, or my dad hunts, because um, we live in Botswana and stuff, and he often takes clients out to the bush and everything where the farms are, and we'll go shoot animals and stuff. Uh, but it's purely for food and stuff like that. It's not trophy hunting or anything like that. It's, yeah, fully humane as well. Like, if you don't know how to shoot, they won't let you shoot. It's, you know... The, the, the ethics of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you, you don't go and shoot an animal if you don't know how to shoot because you can injure it, you know? You don't shoot an animal if you can't eat it because what's the point, you know? For pride. There's, there's, there's hunting and there's trophy hunting, you know? The one wouldn't like the other sort of thing, you know? They don't correspond. People often generalize that into one basis. Students will continue making choices for animal tourism as hunting laws and mindsets change. Jane Hart, Mo News.